All right, so since it's spooky season, I wanted to give you guys a little ghost story that I have. One that happened quite a long time ago, but I've never really talked about it or kind of delved into it. Not that like my family is very like clairvoyant or anything, but on the other hand, we kind of are like, there's just little things that happen sometimes that we're like, hmm, and not that you believe in it or not, but I think it's interesting and I try not to like delve into it too much because it scares me a bit and I do not want things like latching onto me or anything like that. So, so back when I was about, I would say around 10 years old, um, maybe a little younger, maybe a little older, my family moved around a lot. As in my dad, my stepmom, and my brothers and sisters, they moved around a lot. Every few years, different areas, different places, things like that. And I would say we probably lived in a few houses that were a little bit sketchy feeling, but I would say this one in particular was not the worst, but like it was the most activity that ever happened. All right, so this house was built July 4th, 1846. And by the time I lived in it, it was, you know, they already, it was already over 100 years old. The house was kind of shaped like a C. It was like one end to the other. You had to walk all the way around to get to the other spot. And like, I didn't like that either because it was kind of like very separate from everything. And I don't know if that's because maybe they had like a separate quarters in the back or something like that um, because of the time it was built in. Very much like a plantation style home. Um, it was actually called a manor. So it was bigger and also the second floor wasn't as big or like weirdly shapen. It was kind of just like in the center was taller and then the outsides were longer. So it was kind of like, honestly like a mini mansion is basically what it was. So the family supposedly lived there um, for 108 years, which was three generations and they ended up selling it after that. Harry Ross, and it was called the Ross Manor back in 1880, 1846 and um, the family lived there. They used to operate a tea room in the back. Mrs. Ross used to operate a tea room. This was between the 1930s and 1940s um, and it passed definitely like different generations. So supposedly the story is, so I believe it was the second generation um, of the family. So it was the husband, it was Harry Ross and his wife and they had I believe about nine children, something like that. And so the story goes that um, the father was you know, he, he went to war and things like that, but after he was back, um, he was probably in his 40s when he went to market one of the days, and he ended up not coming back. So, supposedly he had tuberculosis or something like that, where he ended up dying on his way there, so he never came back with any stuff that he had gone out for. Supposedly the family, the wife, and the kids were all fine. He, Harry Ross had a wife before his more current wife where he had the, all of his children with but she died it looks like two years into their marriage so she was very young um, and then he ended up remarrying pretty quickly afterwards and then they had a bunch of children um, it looks to be like the children were spread out in ages from age 19 to like 9 um, and so that was where the ages of when Ross was in his 40s and he ended up going out when he was sick and ended, and ended up not returning. Now what happened in the house was there was a lot of things that went on. I wasn't living there the whole time that my father was there because I didn't live with him 100% of the time. So I didn't get all of these things. But all I know, um, the things that did happen while I was there was I know I'd be in different rooms and it'd feel very strange, very heavy. Um, and not in all the rooms, like I would say the particularly weird feeling that I got most of the time was upstairs in one of my sister's bedrooms. Um, for some reason, we had noticed like scratch marks on the door, but we didn't know if that was like old age of a door or something like that. Anytime I was in that room, it felt very heavy, very just, I knew I didn't want to be in there and I really didn't want to be there in there in the dark because it was just very like, the energy was not great and there was a lot of times where my sister when she was younger she had a lot of different experiences that I would say were probably like clairvoyant there was a lot of times where she would either be in her bed or even downstairs in the dining room and would like 
fall off of the bed or the chair and start screaming and just talking about like weird stuff and so we'd be like okay that's weird what's going on you know I would, but we kind of like chalked it up to being whatever um also nobody really went into the basement ever because it was very old it had like crumbling stones and everything it was like an old house and how the, the basements were built and then there was also times when we there was this one time when we were in the kitchen um kind of like cleaning up we ended up hearing like a music box noise like it was definitely like it sounded like a very old music box like the ones that you crank and then they play and they have like they hit the little prongs but it sounded very old and we noticed that we, it sounded like it was coming from the floor in the kitchen like by the refrigerator and we we're like that is very strange so we were kind of like hitting the floor but nothing was happening nothing was changing and we're just like okay and we only ever heard that play like once and after that we never heard that sound again but it was a music box sound we don't know what it was from or where it had come from like nobody had any music on it was only us awake and it was coming from the floor and so like I just kept like you know just trying not to feel the energy there not trying to like hear certain noises or anything like that because like I get freaked out very easily <laughs> so I didn't want to have anything to do with anything but I'm particular I don't I don't know if it was what time or day or whatnot I don't remember really anything besides the actual event so me my me my brother and my sister all shared one bedroom my little sister had the other bedroom across the hall so it was the three of us in the one bedroom it was my brother on the left side of me my sister on the right side of me and i was in the middle like we all had twin beds in in that room usually my brother and sister would be sleeping when i came to bed because i was older and so they would already be sleeping and i'd come to bed and i'd go in the middle and i'd just fall asleep i don't know what time it was i probably looked at my phone but i don't remember for some reason something had awakened me and i or i feel like maybe i felt something and i awakened by myself I just know that I woke up and it was in the middle of the night and usually if I wake up during the night or if I'm not sleeping yet or whatnot, I look to make sure my brother and my sister are okay that they're in their beds that they're sleeping because I'm the older sister so I just I'm checking up on them I look over to my sister everything's fine everything's good I look over to my brother at like his head area he looked fine and then I notice something at the foot of his bed and I'm like uh so I like turned my head from looking this way a little bit more down and it was a straight like figure but it wasn't like you could say oh it might have been my father sitting at the end of the bed or something like that it wasn't because I could see through it and it wasn't like I could see like full features like the features that I saw this wasn't like a full human feature and also it wasn't like when you see someone in the dark usually the person looks like they're dark you know it looks like oh you can see make out like small features of the person no 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 it was 100 percent like it's like an outline of certain features certain body parts and it was like a light glowing not like glowing it was just like a white just a white color and this person was sitting there at the edge of the bed and I, I didn't feel scared or anything but I was sitting there and I was sitting up and this person had something in their hand that was glowing I don't know what it was but obviously if this person let's say it was the husband he died in the 1900s he's not gonna have a cell phone that glows or something that glows like that and I don't think it was a camera I don't think it was a light of any sort this person it was definitely a guy he had a baseball cap on or what seemed to be a baseball cap and like just like lounge clothes like just regular like chilling clothes honestly and he had this thing in his hand and he kept showing like he gestured to me because he noticed that I was awake and he like put it towards me and kept pointing and kept pointing at it and I'm just like I don't I don't know because I couldn't like there was nothing there besides this like glowing his hand was glowing basically what was happening and I was just like and I'm like 
I kind of laid back down. Okay, just close your eyes for a second. Don't freak out. You just close your eyes and open them back up and see if this, per this thing is still there. So I close my eyes. Just sitting there. I'm just sitting there. I open them back up. He's still there. I'm like, I start to slightly panic because <laughs> I'm like, there's something real right there. <laughs> what do I do? Um, but what I decided to do, I was like, okay, calm down. Don't worry about it. I'm like, just try to go to sleep. So I'm like laying there and I like keep peeking my eye open. <laughs> like, is it still there? And he's still there. He's still there. But he's not gesturing to me. He's like doing his own. He's like looking at this thing in his hand, head down like this, and just looking. And that's it. Like, and because I laid down and whatnot, he wasn't trying to disturb me or talk to me or anything. And I was like, oh. And then eventually I must have fallen asleep. I woke up the next morning and I was like, did that really just happen? And then I just told everybody about it. To me, he looked like he was bald. He looked like in his 40s, like he was in plain clothes, like he had, you know, was maybe like working outside or like some kind of like, it didn't have to be work clothes, but it just, it was like just regular like loungy clothes. So it could have been working, could have been, I don't know. I don't know, just in the house. That was his attire, I don't know. My family has also said they've seen like military people there, which would make sense if he's like going into different forms, like house life versus like military life. I don't know. I've tried to like look things up more. Um, I haven't really found much other than little bits and pieces of it. I never saw this thing again, whatever it was. It would have been cool if I did but I didn't and that's really like my only experience. I've never, I've had weird feelings and things like that and I've been like, hmm, that's haunted or something's going on there. Um, and usually I'm right, but I never have had like full forms come to me because <laughs> I've like definitely pushed all that away. I figured I'd share my story to you guys um, and you know, if you guys have any similar experiences or anything that's happened um that would be cool to let me know in the comments below but i hope you guys enjoyed this little spooky video and if you did give it a thumbs up subscribe down below um leave me a comment as well and i hope to see you guys in my next video bye